The first teasers for WWE 2K24's upcoming DLC are here, with the WWE Games account sharing a cryptic image which includes 23 clues. While we don't know who the DLC are for certain, it's fun to speculate, so let's take a closer look at the image and see who the clues point to. Taking a look at the teaser image, some of the clues appear to be pretty straightforward, so let's start with the easy ones, the first of which is a half-eaten apple, which is a pretty clear reference to Carlito, who we last seen featured in Smackdown vs Raw 2010. Underneath the apple, you can just about make out the text Always Tired, which is a reference to recording artist Post Malone, who was previously announced as the first of this year's DLC characters in the press release for the 2K24 soundtrack. Another obvious reference is the inclusion of a ship's wheel, or a helm, which suggests obviously the return of Kairi Sin, who last made an appearance in 2K20. Over on the right side of the image, we have a black headband with the word Funk, which is a reference to WWE Hall of Famer Terry Funk, as the headband is part of his attire. Funk's previous appearance also came as a DLC character, as he last appeared as Chainsaw Charlie in WWE 13. Overlapping the headband, we have a logo for the Irresistible Force, which is a clear reference to Nia Jax, who we last seen in 2K22. Taking a look at the centre of the image, we have a lucha mask, though the design of it doesn't resemble anyone specific, with most people speculating that this could be a reference to Dragon Lee, as he's one of only a few superstars that wear a mask and isn't already featured in the game. Next to the Lucha Mask, we also have the inclusion of a kendo stick, which is the first of several references for ECW, with the kendo stick teasing the inclusion of the Sandman, who we've not seen since SmackDown vs Raw 2008. Other ECW stars that are teased in the image include the tag team of the Dudley Boys, as the right side of the image contains Devon's white glasses, while the left side shows a tie-dyed shirt, which is reminiscent of the Dudley's original attire. Another easy reference can be seen at the bottom right, as we have two hands throwing up the Diamond Cutter, which is a reference to DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, who last appeared in 2K19. To the right of the hands, we have a tour bus covered with the United States flag, which appears to be a reference to Lex Luger, as during his time in WWE, Luger travelled in his own tour bus that was dubbed the Lex Express, which also featured the US flag. To the left of the tour bus, we have the inclusion of a megaphone that's covered in hearts, which is a reference to legendary manager Jimmy Hart. The megaphone also overlaps an acoustic guitar, which could be a hint at the Honky Tonk Man who Jimmy Hart spent time managing. The next of the clues sees a black feather, which looks to be a reference to the current NXT Women's Champion Lyra Valkyria. Just to the right of that, we also have a green diamond, which when you google it, resembles a rock of jade, which hints that we'll see Jade Cargill appear as part of the DLC. The rest of the clues aren't as clear, but we do have a pretty good idea of who they could allude to, as we have a pair of pointed boots that resembles those worn by the Iron Sheik, who we last seen under his Colonel Mustafa gimmick in 2K16. A less obvious reference is the necklace that's shown in the bottom right, as this is rumoured to be a reference to Tori Wilson, as the necklace is similar to the one seen in her Titantron. Focusing on the centre of the image, our next clue looks to be an upside down kilt, which could be an indication for the Attitude Era tag team of the Headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher, who we've not seen featured since WrestleMania 2000 on the Nintendo 64. Another women's wrestler that's teased in the image comes in relation to the moon, which a lot of people think could be a reference to Attitude Era wrestler Luna Vachon. Going back to last year's DLC teaser, that image also featured a moon and the word Luna, which had everyone expecting Luna to be announced as a DLC character last year, though she wasn't part of the announced lineup. Given the backlash from fans who are looking forward to playing as Luna, the moon in this latest image could be 2K writing that wrong and offering up Luna as DLC. Over on the left side of the image, the teaser also includes the old version of the WWE Women's Championship, which would suggest that anyone that held that belt could make an appearance, with some notable names including Michelle McCool, Layla, Sable, Jacqueline and Ivory, though there's also the possibility that the belt could be a reference to Hall of Famer Alundra Blaze, who famously dropped the Women's Championship in the trash on Nitro, though that version of the belt wasn't the one that's featured here.
To the right of the Women's Championship, we also have an image of a woman exercising, which could be another reference to Tori Wilson, as she currently works as a fitness instructor, though there's also a lot of people that believe this could be a reference to NXT's Sol Ruka, or, given the links to WrestleMania in 2K24, this could be a reference to former Women's Champion Wendy Richter, who appeared at the first WrestleMania as the outfit somewhat resembles her gear. Right next to this clue, we also have the inclusion of a microphone, which straight away the thought is that this could be a reference to CM Punk, though as the microphone shown is on a stand for a performer, then there's a chance that this could be a teaser for another celebrity, which given how near it is to the image that many believe is Wendy Richter, then this could be a tease for singer Cindy Lauper, who appeared as Wendy Richter's manager at the inaugural WrestleMania. The last of the clues featured in the poster is a plain black baseball cap, which is another one that's so generic that it's hard to determine who it belongs to, though given the teasers for ECW, there is a good chance that the black cap could be a reference to Paul Heyman, which may suggest that we'll see an alternate ECW version of Paul E. Dangerously. So that's the teaser for this year's Season Pass, which appears to hint at 23 clues, and while that number is slightly lower than we'd usually see for DLC, some of these could be tag teams, and there could also be additional stars that aren't referenced in the teaser, or clues that weren't picked up on. So let me know what you make of the teaser, and if you noticed anything that I missed in the comments, and stay tuned to the channel, as later on today I'll have more gameplay of WWE 2K24. Until then though, thank you so much for watching this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.